Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Alright, so we have one here from Southern Tier Brewing Co. It's Pum King Imperial Pumpkin Ale coming at 8.6% alcohol by volume. And Best Buy 5, 31.25. Best Buy date there. And they're from uh, Lakewood, New York. Okay. I don't know if I've ever had this before. If I did, I don't think I reviewed it. So um, we fitting to do that right now. That's what the bottle looks like. I picked up uh, six or a four 12-ounce bottles of this for like 17 bucks out the door so it's pretty expensive now i don't remember having this so <clears throat> i'm not sure how good it is so let's check it out let's find out better be pretty good for 17 bucks for four bottles of it 12 ounce bottles better be good because uh i can get some really good pumpkin beers for a little couple bucks less and higher alcohol too so let's handle it Love pumpkin beers. Okay, get a quick thumbnail here. I gotta move something real quick. Sorry about that. Yep, he's doing beer review in his underoos. Oh well. Is what it is. It's hot, hot today. Almost nine eighty-five degrees here, in Southern California today. It says under under roo weather. Okay. Okay, handled. <clears throat> so. Foamy head, a little bit silky, a little frothy, but not creamy. And it's a clear, um, kind of light copper color, I'd, I'd say. Kind of like a copper orange. Yeah, kind of orangey. Copper orangey. A lot of bubbles uh, sticking to the side there. Okay. Yeah, pretty orangey. All right, let's check out the aroma. <clears throat> Last train home. Getting some uh, some spices like. Uh, Clove, nutmeg, the usual suspect, cinnamon. Very, very, very light on the on the pumpkin though. Very light. The head's real foamy. I'm getting more spices than anything though. Not a lot of pumpkin actually. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Got some hops in there too. Big cinnamon notes, cloves, nutmeg, coriander, the usual. It's got a lot of, quite a bit of hops in there. I'm getting some hops. Not getting much pumpkin though. This is more like a, a double a doubles IPA with like spices. It's almost like a Belgie, actually. <clears throat> Very much like a Belgie. It's pretty much a Belgie with some cinnamon in it. Yep. Medium mouthfeel. It's actually refreshing type. Uh, the malt backbone is, it's there, but it's not really, um, 
giving it a creamy mouthfeel or nothing. It's kind of more like a, kind of like a, you know, like a lawnmower beer type mouthfeel. Kind of like a lager, but it does have a lot of flavor. Pretty much all the spices I mentioned, there's no booziness or no raw alcohol notes. Uh, so it is a well-made beer, but again, I wish it had more gourd in it, more pumpkin, more body, more creaminess, uh, you know, more thickness, more girth, but it does have good flavor. And it's very easy to drink for 8.6%. So it's leaving a little bit of lacing on the glass. Not much creaminess, though. So um, I'll swill it one more time and I'll wrap this puppy up. Might as well keep it short and sweet, man. Because um, there's not much else I'm being able to pull out of here. It's not really clawing much to the glass. Yeah, just a lot of spices, you know, like the ones I mentioned. Last train home. It is a good beer. It is a tasty beer. It is a very tasty spice beer. I'm not talking hot spice. I'm talking like spices that you kind of holiday spices like in cooking and stuff. Just not enough gourd. Want more gourd. More cowbell. It's good. It's a good beer. But it's not what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a pumpkin beer. Okay, I want freaking pumpkin. I don't want spices. I like the spices. They're cool. They add a, some character to a good pumpkin beer. But I like a pumpkin beer, okay? And this just is not cutting it for me when it comes to a pumpkin beer. Dang it. So with that said, and one more time, just, just one more time. It's got good water, good clean water. It's really easy to drink for a double, Imperial. It's got a little bit of lingering flavors in the back end the spices and some hops or something but overall i would don't even know if i'd call this a pumpkin beer because i'm not getting much pumpkin at all really i'm getting a lot of spices though so with that said on a scale of one to five stars two and a half being c average i think they just missed the mark man on pumpkin the gourd man more gourd more cowbell okay so it is a good beer if they would put a different label on it, I might give it a little better score, but they're calling it a pumpkin beer, so kind of missing the mark when it comes to that, in my opinion. This would make a good, like, like, uh, fall, uh, like a good fall, um, Belgian, kind of like that, like a fall Belgian beer, but... It is a tasty beer. I enjoy it. I think it's a little pricey for what you're getting. Um, I think they missed the mark. So with that said, uh, I'll give it um, four and a half stars out of five. I think it's an awesome beer. I just think they missed the mark with it. Um, so four and a half stars it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. Cheers. Thank you for stopping by, checking out the vids. You know what to do. Have a great day. Later.